Find the equation of the sphere given the endpoints of the diameter. Let's go ahead and work this out. Solution. The center of the sphere will be the midpoint of these two points because these are the endpoints of the diameter, so the midpoint is right in the middle. So the midpoint formula basically says that you add the x coordinates and you divide by 2. You add the y coordinates and then divide by 2. And then add the z coordinates and divide by 2. So in this case, uh, this is our first x coordinate. This will be x1. And this here could be x2. So you add them up. So 1 plus negative 3. And you divide by 2. Then you do the same thing with the y coordinates. So 2 plus 4 and you divide by 2, and then you add these z coordinates, so 0 plus 5, and you divide by 2. So this ends up being 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, so we get negative 2 over 2. Here we get 2 plus 4, so we get uh, 6 over 2, and here we just get 5 over 2. So this cleans up to be negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, 6 over 2 is 3, and then 5 over 2 is simply 5 over 2. So this is our center. So since now we have the center and we have the endpoints of the diameter, we can use either of these points to find the radius. Let's use this one, and so the radius will just be the distance from the center to this point. So the formula for distance, it's the square root, and you subtract the x-coordinates and you square them. And you do the same thing with the y-coordinates. So you subtract them and you square the result. And you subtract the z-coordinates and you square the result. So this is equal to, well, let's let this be our x1, y1, z1. And then this will be our x2, y2, z2. So this is the square root of Let's see, 1 minus negative 1. So it'll be 1 plus 1 squared plus 2 minus 3. So 2 minus 3 squared plus 0 minus 5 halves. So 0 minus 5 halves squared. Let's clean this up. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So this piece here will be equal to 4. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, and we square that, and we get 1. And then here, unfortunately, we just get negative 5 halves squared. That's just 25 over 4. So plus 25 over 4. This is equal to 5 plus... 25 over 4, and we can multiply the 5 by 4 over 4 so that we can actually add the fractions. So now we get 20 plus 25 divided by 4, and so this is the square root of 45 over 4. So that will be our radius r. To finish, we'll use our center and our radius, and we'll write down the answer. So let me write down the center again. So the center was negative 1, 3, 5 halves. And the radius was the square root of 45 over 4. And so the formula for a sphere centered at x0, y0, z0 is as follows. So x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared plus z minus z naught squared. And this is equal to r squared. So x naught here is negative 1. So it'll be x plus 1 squared. y naught is 3. So it's y minus 3 squared plus, and then z naught is 5 halves. So z minus 5 halves squared. And when we square the r, the square root goes away, so we end up with 45 over 4. And that is the final answer. Kind of rushed, but 
this problem ended up taking longer than um, I expected it to. I hope this helps.